Radio. Reliable. Unpredictable. Informative. Local. Experimentation is the mother of invention. Expect the unexpected. Streffy on the radio. Carol, you're here. You're Carol's here. Carol here. Can we see if we can hear you, Carol? Hello, Carol. Hello. Oh, a very seductive voice. Mm. And our prize for today's quiz is going to be your uh, debut novel, For Want of a Shoe, uh, which is a, a very interesting novel, which I read when I was in South Africa. It's ten times better than Fifty Shades of Grey. Thank you. And um, it is well written, which I don't think uh, E.L. James is. And uh, E.L. James kind of rambles on with the sex scenes and rambles on too much words, um, you know, a bit like the EU directive on cabbages. And uh, But yours is uh, quite concise, isn't it? And uh, you, you, the, the sex scenes are well written. So good afternoon to you. Uh, so, uh, are you planning another novel or not? Not just yet. Not just yet. Not just <laughs> I hadn't realised how much work this would be. <laughs> <laughs> how long did it take you to write for want of a shoe? I think all in all about three years. Did it? Mm. And uh, it's, as I say, it's an adult novel, so let's not, Very much not so. make any bones about this. But uh, you're getting married next year, aren't you? So, I am. and uh, you're very worried about your hair. Tell us about that. Well. I went to my hairdresser and I said, cut my fringe. <laughs> you cut lots and lots of hair. Too much. It's far too much so I'm taking to so you, you're, you're, to help the hair grow. You, your wedding's like a, a year away, but you've got people coming from Australia, so yeah. it needs a lot of planning, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, James, uh, was it James? You you spent the weekend with him in Northampton. That's you right, yeah. came back on the train today, and then yeah. uh, you got back in time for me to uh, pick you up about yeah. half past one and inform me today. So, uh, so there we go. So, uh, looking forward to the uh, wedding. Uh, obviously, that's a silly question, but um, I don't know. Is it, is it worth it? All this preparation. You know, you've got to get the hair right, you've got your dress, you're going to do a 1950s style yes. uh, wedding, aren't you? The voice is starting to go already. Go on. It, it's going <coughs> to be gorgeous. Yes, it is worth it. <coughs> um, it's going to be a lovely occasion, and uh, I feel so, first time round, my marriage wasn't what I expected. I'm a little bit disillusioned, but second time round, I know exactly what I'm walking into. Right. I'm very excited at the prospect. Right. Well, I mean, my first marriage was unbelievable because um, she thought she was pregnant, and so we got engaged after two months, and then we got married after six months. Turned out she wasn't pregnant, so uh, I kind of, I mean, so I uh, rushed into the first marriage, but it was okay. It lasted twenty years. So uh, there we are. We're going to talk more to Carol as the as the program goes along because you are kind of. I've kidnapped you. You can, well, you could escape, but you're not going to do, are you? No. If you want to fall asleep there or have a, have a bit of a, you know, a, a rest out there in the cold lounge area, <laughs> we've got Dave Baller, we've got Dave Farr in studio too. So that's fabulous. Much better than being totally on my own. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah. Uh, we've only met once before, and we were both ill then, weren't we? Now you we see, dying. Our, we were dying and coughing and spluttering on another yeah. radio station in Southport. But this time, uh, my throat suddenly come back in the last few days I can't believe it I thought I was better but it's come back to me I don't know I don't usually get ill so it's March the 14th and it's pi day you know what we're talking about 3.14 the circumference of us I uh, know I'll get on to pi day in a minute it's really terribly boring I, I might even not do it so it's day 74 today so what do we know about the number 74 John Faulkner the world's oldest jockey rode his last race at the age of you've guessed it 74 it was a steeplechase somewhere in Abingdon he died aged 104 having fathered 32 children that's a lot of children isn't it a bit too many I too many too many oh now can you keep tabs on 32 children Anyway, I don't know. I mean, men have uh, children at uh, very late ages, don't they? Obviously, still able to have children at 80 and stuff like that. Oh, a recent survey found that 74, don't forget, we're homing in on the number 74. A recent survey found that 74% of Brits couldn't locate Greece on a world map. Well, I think I could, because it's kind of like bottom right, isn't it, of Europe. Mm -hmm. And apparently 12% of people confused uh, South Africa for Spain well, I suppose they're both at the kind of bottom bit of a continent. 10% thought Brazil was China. 
and uh, well that's a bit weird and uh, 90% had no idea where Bulgaria was well <coughs> Bulgaria is kind of Eastern Europe isn't it so mm. by the way I do apologise for my voice it's going to go soon and uh, so uh, you, Carol you better take over the show you can drive the show in a minute <laughs> and I'll have a lie down out there I tell you the voice is going to go any minute and uh, by the way the 74th Nobel Peace Prize was given to former South African political prisoner Nelson Mandela and South African President uh, F. W. de Klerk in 1993 for their work to at end apartheid. Um, when I was in South Africa, we went to uh, Robin Island and, and saw the cell where Nelson Mandela was kept in for 18 years. We saw the kind of cave. They did all this rock thing, you know, and, and, and the, the sun was like 40 degrees. And um, I think Nelson Mandela got quite a few issues health-wise because of the heat he was exposed to as a prisoner on uh, Robin uh, Island. So there's 292 days. Now, forget that. Let's have a look at some birthdays. Michael Caine is 83 today. Michael Caine. Do you like Michael Caine? I love him. Yeah, why? Is he rugged? Uh, I think he's done some excellent films. Has he? He's probably been in a few dodgy, poor films. Is mm. he, he was born Maurice Joseph Micklewhite, mm. son of a fish porter and a char lady. His mum was a char lady, and I think his father worked at Billingsgate. And um, he wants to appear, even though he's 83, he's not given up filming. Sir Michael Caine, he wants to appear in a film about the Hatton Garden burglary with Ray Winston. Do you like Ray Winston? Yeah, I think he's All great. about. Yeah, all about the imply, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he starred, actually, when he was in the Italian job, did he drive in the 1969 Italian job film? Michael Caine didn't have a driving license then, it says. I, I thought he was just in charge. I mean, his he was in charge. Line, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Well, exactly, that fits in with all my jingles, which I will play in a minute to fi fit in with uh, Michael Caine. <coughs> Tessa Sanderson is 60 today. Uh, she was the first uh, British uh, black woman to win an Olympic gold medal. Carol, were you athletic and sporty when you were at school? Did you throw no. the javelin? No, I was Not at all. Hopeless. 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 You didn't do that well at school, did you, with your exam results? Sorry to show you up in front of all the listeners. <laughs> I've got one or two O levels. One or two O levels, That's okay. About, if you count them all, about 13. <laughs> right, which film is this from? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, uh, I better not go any further because uh, this is where it's not the right time of day to be doing this. Billy Crystal is 68 today. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, <laughs> you've got it, have you? When Harry Met Sally. Yes. Is that a good she, film? Was, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. I love what she's having. Yeah. I love what she's having. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Billy Crystal is 68 today, New York born actor, hosted the Oscar nine times, the Oscars nine times, but he was not the first choice, apparently, for when Harry Met Sally. The, the mm -hmm. part was first offered to uh, Richard Dreyfus who was in Jaws, amongst other things, and it was also he was in um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Jasper Carrot has a birthday today. How old do you reckon he is, Carol? Jasper Carrot. Do you think uh, how old? 68. Not far off, actually, 71. Uh, born in uh, Birmingham, of course, uh, mm. comedian, TV presenter. He sold his stake in uh, Celador, that's a TV production company, uh, the mm. makers of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and all that, for uh, just over £10 million. Pounds. I suppose he's set up for life in 2006. I have a little Jasper Carrot story. When Jasper Carrot wasn't famous, he came to the Penthouse Club in Scarborough, where I used to frequent on a very regular basis. I practically lived there, actually. It was an amazing club in my youth. And uh, I must have been a bit drunk, Carol. Mm. I was very silly. I shouted out at him. And he came in. He came back at me, did Jasper Carrot, before he was famous, really. He was, he was like the folk night on a f Sunday night. Yeah. And he started, I started off as a bit of a folk singer, and then he started telling jokes. And, of course, then the jokes took over. You know, a bit like uh, Billy Connolly at the Humble yeah. Bums, and then, obviously, mm. the com comedic element took over but um yeah he said something like um, sit back in your chair we'll plug it in i thought it was, it was really good shut me up <laughs> yeah sit back in your chair we'll plug it in as an electric chair so mm. yeah one of his four children jasper carrot is apparently lucy davis who played uh the receptionist dawn in the office i don't mm. know if you ever watched the office I did occasionally, but I can't remember all the characters. No, slightly unnerving humour, wasn't it, in a way. Mm. Bill Owen, uh, Compo, he was born on this day in 1914, uh, so he was born before the First World War started. He died in 1999, Bill Owen. He was a war veteran, a songwriter, an actor, starred in more than 30 films, including four carry-on films, but of course best known for Compo Simonite. I never knew Compo's surname was Simonite mm. uh, in the long, in uh, Last of the Summer. Albert Einstein was born on this day in 1879. 
Nobel-winning German-born physicist and mathematician. He gave the world, of course, the general theory of uh, relativity. But uh, he didn't start off particularly uh, too well, in a way, because it says here, in 1895, he failed entrance exams for the Swiss Federal Polytechnic in Zurich and had to take an extra year at school before successfully uh, trying again. And uh, on March the 14th, uh, 32 years ago today, Sinn Féin President Jerry Adams, who I believe likes to jump up and down naked on a trampoline, Carol, with his dog. Now, that sounds a recipe for disaster. I don't know about you. I mean, that dog could start snapping at any minute. Mm. Know what I mean? Are you with me? Have you got the vision of Jerry Adams naked? I'd rather not. Okay, yeah, we won't go there. Fair enough. We'll move on. So, Jerry Adams was shot and seriously wounded in an assassination attempt in central Belfast, exactly, uh, 32 years ago today. Do you play golf? Have you ever played golf? It says here, PG Woodhouse coming into the programme, to find a man's true character, play golf with him. Well, I, mm, I don't know. I know that's what P.G. Woodhouse said. And, um, we've just got, actually, we've just got a news item coming in here to, uh, uh, I don't, I don't mean to worry you here, but apparently, uh, two, two lorries have, uh, two lorries have crashed, uh, on the M56. Uh, one was, uh, apparently carrying tortoises, uh, Carol, and the other one was carrying, uh, terrapins. And, uh, a police spokesman has said it was a turtle disaster. So, uh, here we go with the next three questions. They're not particularly, uh, straightforward. They're all to do with space, really and uh, stuff like that. So which gas uh, is a difficult first question. We'll make them easier later on. Which gas is present in the Earth's atmosphere which is not present on any other planet? Uh, sorry about that. Starts with a vowel, so I've given it away. Sorry, about, I've given it away there. Which gas is present in the Earth's atmosphere which is not present on any other planet? And uh, this might like, sound like a silly question, but it made me uh, stop in my tracks for a second or two, or more, actually. How long does it take the Earth to orbit the Sun uh, no options, and, uh, you know Yuri Gagarin was the first man in space back in whenever it was, 1961 or two, around there. How many, how many times did, uh, Yuri Gagarin, uh, the, uh, Russian cosmonaut, orbit the Earth on his first space flight? Was it only once? Uh, was it five times or ten times? So, one, five, or ten. Uh, how many times did Gagarin orbit the Earth on his first uh, space uh, flight? How long does it take the Earth to uh, orbit uh, the uh, Sun? And uh, which gas is present in the Earth's atmosphere which is not present on any other planet? Well, you're looking at a QI book and you'll be uh, contributing uh, with that in a minute. So, Carol, let's talk about you for a minute. Uh, this uh, amazing book you wrote, um, uh, presumably uh, partly autobiographical, but mainly fantasy, would you say? It's a book which is um, similar to 20, uh, 25. Where did I get that from? Fifty Shades of Grey. Have you seen the film Fifty Shades of Grey? I've seen the film. The film's been done in three versions. Well, not three, three parts. I've seen the first part. I think the first part's already been yeah. out, yeah. I mean, in your book, there's a contract between a couple, isn't there? Let's get down to it. Let's talk about this book. Yeah. It's not an yeah. ideal time of day to talk about it, but uh, Lester is your main character. He's That's definitely right. autobiographical, isn't he? I can relate to him, yes. He is based on a personality I once knew. <laughs> okay, let's leave it to that. And, uh, so, uh, so there we are. It's, it's, as I say, it's a really well uh, written uh, book. Um, I mean, this kind of um, sexual activity, this BDSM stuff and uh, a dominant and a submissive, um, this is this is healthy, in my opinion. Is it healthy? And yeah, it's healthy if you have certain rules and code words and all that kind of stuff. Would, would you agree? Yeah, I think so. It's just both both uh, couples or so both parties have a complete understanding about what's expected. Mm. I think anything taken by surprise that's a bit of a no no. I mean, okay, you can have an element of surprise, but mm. but within the confines of uh, not um, of Hmm. I don't know how to phrase it now, but, um, You said something interesting to me before, yeah. that you said that the real strong person has got to be the submissive, because yeah. in some ways they're in control. Well, no, they're prepared to take risks. All right, they're prepared to take risks, yeah. so, so they're the, perhaps in some ways yeah. the strong one. Yeah. But uh, there we are. So don't forget, uh, the winner of the quiz today, uh, <laughs> we are getting some people in. Uh, there's been some changes on the scoreboard. Uh, so look, Dave Farr, uh, he's actually in the building, so I've just asked him. He's gone up to nine. Uh, Mick Carter's on one. Uh, Gary, uh, Gary, was he? Frodsham, as I say, he's up to 15. Uh, I've not heard from Eileen this show. She's up to six. And, uh, Francesca and Wigan, she's gone up to 12. Billy and Runcorn is one of our two joint leaders. 
uh, on uh, 15. Sammy, 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 who will be my co-presenter in two weeks. Looking forward to that. Met Sammy for the first time today. It's like a, a big extended family, this, uh, this radio station with a warm heart, you know. We might not be the BBC, but uh, there's some very genuine and top people associated with this uh, uh, radio station. Uh, Dave Bell got them all right, so he's up to 12. Carol, I think, got two right, although, yeah, I think she got two right, so she's up to 12. And uh, Kay, we just played her a tune uh, from Coldplay. She's uh, still on three. We've not heard from, uh, not heard from uh, Kay. She's probably getting stuck into the ironing and uh, so on. So there we are. Don't forget, we've not got Jules with us today, so we're a bit short on uh, some of our regulars. We're hoping to have all the usual suspects later in the show, like Bill and uh barry and uh people like that andy andy rob uh, all those kind of characters tend to join in later uh, when they're back from work and and stuff like that so uh don't forget the three uh, uh terrible questions which i'm throwing at you which uh so how long does it take the earth to orbit the sun uh dave far's reaction was just sort of nonplussed that i was asking him such an easy question how long does it take the earth to orbit the sun he might be with me next week you know dave far you never know anything could happen in this world and uh, the best things in life often happen quite naturally without too much planning now eh? you probably don't agree uh carol with your wedding certainly not with a wedding no you can't leave that to chance but some things you can leave to chance i don't know so uh, how many times did uh, yuri gagarin uh, orbit the earth on his very first flight back in 1961 or thereabouts i think valentine might have been 62 valentina tereshkova was the first woman of course to uh, orbit the uh, earth. So how many times did Gagarin, Gagarin go around the earth? Was it just once or was it five times or ten times? And the other question is, uh, don't forget it starts with a vowel so I'm giving it away really. Which gas is present in the earth's atmosphere which is not present uh, on any other planet? So those are the latest questions. We're almost done and dusted on that one. And by the way dear listeners, I hope you're not uh, being put off getting in touch because Carol's here and she's written an erotic novel. Do you think they might be Carol? They might be frightened of you. They might think, oh, I'm not getting in touch with that show, because she's an erotic novelist. Now, come on. This, she's just a, you're just a normal person, aren't you, Carol? Fairly, get some near the microphone. Say, some so, might say. Some might say. <laughs> she's just a normal person. She's just written an erotic novel. So what? We all have fantasies. We could all write an erotic novel. Uh, Eileen's in, by the way. Good, good afternoon to Eileen. She's just been doing the school run. So the lovely Eileen, a very special person in my life. Uh, she's uh, listening over there in uh, the White Rose County. So which gas is present in the Earth's atmosphere, which is not present on any other planet? Uh, that is oxygen. How long does it take the Earth to orbit the sun? That of course one year and uh, how many times did Gagarin go around the earth on his first space flight that's actually just uh, once so uh, quickly give me your facts quickly give me your facts um, have you got them have you got them yes, to hand papillon d'amour butterflies of love what butterflies she's, she's, of love she's been drinking again i tell you what do you think it really refers to butterfly of love move on move on french pubic lice how hard oh i knew that? oh dear oh dear i shouldn't have given her this yeah. free license Go on, get on something more. Come on, my radio career's on the line here. Thank you. 
the lady kings I'm the prisoner of her own desire Take the blood that made her hide For the blood that made her Local experimentation is the mother of invention. 